Encompass are a leading name in the supply and installation of renewable heating and cooling systems. For nearly two months in 2008, this Cumbrian-based company were involved in the largest underfloor heating and heat pump technology project they'd ever undertaken. A vast new motor store, designed by Glasgow-based Opfer Logan Architects, was being built for Arnold Clark near Stafford in the Midlands, with space inside and outside for some 900 cars. The £15 million showroom covers an area of 4,600 square metres, and it was the laying of underfloor piping for the purpose of both heating and cooling the showroom that was one of the most important elements of the work. Encompass managed the project, although for some parts of the work they called in specialist subcontractors. We've actually got several very distinct sides to our contract. The first one is to supply and lay the floor insulation and the underfloor heating pipes. The second side of the contract actually then comes onto the floor screed, which we're overlaying over the underfloor heating pipes. So in terms of laying the underfloor heating, the floor insulation and the floor screed, it's a six week period. There's another big side to the job as well. Outside the showroom on the 10 acre site, engineers are drilling over 50 boreholes, each of them 100 metres deep. This is the first step on the way to harnessing energy from the earth for this large-scale project. The polyethylene loops which are going down into the boreholes will eventually all be linked up. Once they've been flow tested and pressure tested, these pipes will carry what's called a heat recovery fluid, a glycol and water mix that only needs to absorb a small amount of energy in order to see a rise in its temperature. The beauty about boreholes is when we get below 15 metres deep, the temperature of the ground is very stable all year round. It stays at around about 13 or 14 degrees C all year round. Now that temperature is enough to raise the temperature of the liquid by only 3 degrees C. And what that enables us to do is actually to pump a heat recovery fluid, is what it's called. We pump the fluid through pipes into that ground and it absorbs the, the energy from the ground. Very simply, we then take that energy and we pump it into the building and we use heat pumps, and these ones are actually ground source heat pumps, and we transfer the energy from the pipe in the ground and the fluid that's been in there, and we transfer it into another fluid that flows within all the underfloor heating within the building. In, environmentally, it is a much better and uh, much nicer thing to be doing, as opposed to um, using diesel and gas oil to heat these buildings when we can use the, the Earth's natu nat natural heat resource that is here already. To a large extent, the size of the building and the requirements for heating and cooling dictate the number of boreholes that need to be drilled. With the Arnold Clark project, Encompass calculated that a massive amount of energy had to be absorbed from outside the building, so that's why there are so many boreholes. Once all the loops carrying the heat recovery fluid have been grouted into their holes, they're joined up outside the building and connected to the heat pumps inside the plant room. I actually describe heat pumps as a transfer station. All they're really doing is transferring energy from one place to another. And if you try and just think of it, that's all it is. It's, and they actually the cost of transferring the energy is what we have to pay for. So the energy outside is actually free, but it costs a fraction to transfer the energy from outside to inside the building. Inside the showroom, Anthony Wilkinson is laying the underfloor piping, manufactured by an Italian company called Valsir, onto special quality floor insulation. Anthony's got 4,600 square metres of floor space to cover, so he tackles the job in a methodical and painstaking way, checking his master plan or AutoCAD every so often to make sure everything is correct. The way the piping's layout has been designed is governed entirely by what the client wants to deliver into the building in terms of heating and cooling. This job, it's the biggest job I've done. I was amazed the size of the area where I've got to and achieve in four weeks. I like my job, like I like the finished product. I like to see all my pipes nice and neat. I hate to see pipes kicked over. That's why I'm on my hands and knees, because I like running the pipes neat, straight, 
when you're running tin by foot, you can run it in by foot like, but then you have to get on your hands and knees and kick all the pipes and straight. And just as all roads lead to Rome, so all pipes lead to the manifold, the underfloor heating equivalent of a junction box. Having been laid in manageable lengths, the pipes are linked together through this brass manifold, manufactured by another Italian company, Petoneroli. The manifold also serves as a control valve, allowing clients to switch zones on and off in the building. Not far away, the next stage in the process is taking shape. This is the laying of a semi-dry fibre screed, a mix of sand, cement and polypropylene fibres, which is usually laid by hand around and on top of the pipework. It only takes two days to harden sufficiently before people can go back onto the floor. Full curing or drying can take several months. It has got to be really flat because what's going on top of this is a tile. Um, and you can, in an area like this, it's important to use a laser level. That's why we always use them, we never use a spirit level. It needs to be very flat because the tile has got to cut joints in the floor and all. Um, just to go with his joints with, you know, the tiles. Encompass has had a major presence on this site for nearly two months. From start to finish, it's been a wonderful showcase for the expertise and dedication of their team and for all the different sides to this highly respected company. In the end, much of its work here at Stafford may neither be seen or heard, but the people who pass through the Arnold Clark Motor Store to view the hundreds of cars on display will most certainly feel the difference that Encompass has made. They came to us um, because we can offer the complete package and we've actually been able to um, deliver the final design of both the borehole field, um, the specification of the heat pumps um, and actually the underfloor heating design as well. So we brought all of that right the way through. We've also been able to add in there the specification, the floor insulation and the floor screed to match exactly what they want. So it kind of reflects the name, Encompass bringing it all together.